Okay, so let's solve this problem. So how much should Anna set aside and invest in a fund earning 3% compounded quarterly if she needs 80,000 pesos in 15 months? So first, we need to list all the given. So for the rate, so we have this 3% and 3% in decimal, that's 0 0.3. Then for the time, since 15 months, so we need to convert this one in year, and one year is equal to 12 months. So therefore, divide this 15 months by 12. So we have 15, then divide by 12. So the time is 1.25. So time is one point. 25. Then for the future value, since Anna needs to have this 80,000 pesos, so therefore the future value is 80,000 pesos. Then for the compounding period, since compounded quarterly, so therefore 4 times in a year, so M is equal to 4. Then for the number of periods, so that's M times the time. So M is 4 and time is 1.25. So therefore, the number of period is equal to 5. Then to solve for the interest per period, that's J. So using this formula, that's the rate over the compounding period. Since the rate is 0 0.03 and the compounding period is 4, so we have 0 0.03 divided by 4. So to find out the interest per period, so we have this 0 0.03 then divide by 4. So since this one is negative 3, so we need to move 3 times to the left. So we have 1, 2, 3, so that's 0 0.0075. So this is now the interest per period. So this time we can solve now the present value or the principal using this formula. So just substitute now all the values. So to solve for the principal or the present value. So for the future value that's 80,000 then over 1 plus J and J is 0 0.0075. Then to the power n, and n is equal to 5. So to find out the principal, since this 1 plus 0 0.0075 is equal to 1.0075, so we have 80,000 divided by this 1.0075, then to the power 5, then equals that's 77,066.34. So the principal is equal to 77,066.34 pesos.